Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and I was just casually going through my live integration revision session resources, and I got sent this, and I was already doing lots of integration, so this just really appealed to me. It looks absolutely horrendous. Uh, so shout out to um, xban underscore who sent this through, and um, hopefully I can do it justice. So here we go. Um, okay, so we have uh, u is equal to Linux. Now, if I were to uh, differentiate this with respect to x, then I would get du by dx is equal to 1 over x, um, which isn't the most helpful. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make x the subject of the substitution. So I'm going to uh, make e the base of both sides, like so. And we know that e to the ln of something will just cancel out and just become whatever that something is. So that's, that, that side there is x, and this is e to the u. So we get x is equal to e to the u. Now, what makes this uh, so much kind of more useful, I guess you could say, is when I differentiate this with respect to u, I get e to the u. And then when I multiply through by d um, u, I've got dx, and it's all in terms of u. So that's really helpful because I could just go straight in and replace this dx here. Um, so I do recommend, if possible, making x the subject and differentiating with respect to u rather than differentiating with respect to x. Okay. Uh, so I guess we're ready to sub in now. Uh, straightforward. This seems like an easy integral. What, what's everyone worried about? <laughs> Let's have a look. Right. So the integral of 3 uh, to the u uh, multiplied by dx, which is e to the u du. Okay. Now, you might be tempted here to use integration by parts, but I can tell you, you're not going to get very far um, quickly. <laughs> so the trick here is that, well, when we have x, y, and we square it, we get x squared, y squared. So here we've got two things multiplied together which are both raised to the power u. So we can write this as 3e e to the power u, du. And that's going to be much easier to integrate. Still tricky though. So let's think, what can we do now? Well, I have actually seen this on an Edexcel exam paper, though they did actually give you a few steps. I think it was in a mock paper, but how to integrate something where the variable is the power. Okay, well, what we have to know is we have to know how to differentiate, so I'm just doing this on the side here, how to differentiate a to the x. So in order for me to differentiate a to the x, um, well, there's a method of doing it, and in fact, I'll show it why now. Yeah, I'll show it now. So, a to the y is equal to a to the x looks like this. We could take the natural logarithm of both sides, like so. Uh, that will allow us then to bring the uh, power down. So, we have x ln a. Uh, then I could differentiate this with respect to x. Now, this will have to be done implicitly. I'd get 1 over y um, dy by dx. Um, and here, this is just x times by a constant. So this will just differentiate with respect to x just to that constant. And then I can multiply through by y to get this. And then this will give me uh, y we know right from the top here is a to the x. So it's a to the x ln of a. So that's how we differentiate a to the x. So a to the x, the derivative of that is a to the x ln a. Okay, so essentially what happens when I differentiate a to the x, we times by a constant. So let's think, what would happen if I was to differentiate 1 over that constant a to the x? Well, we know when we differentiate something which has just been multiplied by a constant, the constant just comes along for the ride. So it become 1 over 
ln a a to the x times by ln a which is equal to a to the x. So I get this relationship where I differentiate 1 over ln a a to the x I get a to the x which means if I were to integrate a to the x I would get 1 over ln a a to the x because remember differentiation and integration are the inverse functions of one another so if I were to differentiate this and it goes to this it means that when I integrate this it goes back to that okay so how can we use that well a is just a constant and here free e is also just a constant free is a, it's a number three and e is a number 2.7 whatever it's just a constant so we can use the same argument um, that when we integrate a constant to uh, the power of the variable it is going to integrate to in this instance 1 over ln of that constant which is free e multiplied by free e to the power of the variable u in this case plus c okay great so we have integrated now uh, and now it's just a case of putting it back in terms of x because we can see here that the integral um, has been evaluated in terms of x okay so we can do this um, I'm going to write it as free e uh, uh, to the ln x which is u all over ln of free e like that okay I'm just going to grab a little bit more space get rid of this working here okay um, so what to do next we I can see here we've got a free to the ln x um, and here we're, we're pretty close to having a free to the ln x uh, but what we could do is we can use some um, of our power rules so we could write the top as free to the ln x multiplied by e to the ln x uh, and what can we do on the bottom well ln of two things multiplied together is the same as writing them as the logarithm of them added together like this so ln free plus ln e okay uh, whoops I missed out the plus c there uh, I put it back in just in time so this is going to give me um, well I think we're good actually yeah because e to the ln of x is just x uh, because you know, e and ln are uh, inverse functions of one another uh, and this is free ln of x like this that's that there very good and this is then all over um, well ln of e is 1 and ln free right there plus c beautiful right fantastic question um, I'm going to be doing a live integration session on Wednesday uh, morning so do check that out link in the description um, I don't think we're going to do an integral this tricky but we are going to be doing lots of exam style questions and getting you more confident on this tricky topic of integration so I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in the next one bye for now